Hello and welcome to this review of Hornitos Black Barrow. <clears throat> now the Hornitos line was introduced by Salsa Tequila in 1950. Don Francisco Javier Salsa, their founder. Okay. Uh, Imported by Salsa Tequila Import Company, Chicago, Illinois. Uh, this is in Spanish here. But that's the name of the company, Salsa Tequila. And um, it is 100% agave. And hornitos means little ovens. And this is age 18 months. It gets a 79 on distiller so they're not too thrilled with it but on google it's getting a 94. now google i mean the people that write reviews in there many times are just casual drinker drink enthusiasts you know uh, distiller.com get much more um i guess you want to call it Liquor geeks, people that's like it's their hobby, you know, like for instance myself. So there could be a, the difference there. So they age it for 12 months, then it's taken and put in heavily charred barrels for four months. I'm trying to remember this, and then it's aged, yeah, finished for two more months in toasted barrels. So they go. Regular tequila barrels, then super heavily charred, charred ones for four months, and then the last two in the toaster barrels. And they say it's really good. Naturally, of course, the website for the company is going to say how good it is. Okay, 100% agave. Now, these that I've reviewed, they're uh, real cork. Well, it's the press together cork, but a real cork. Very nice. These are um, what we call mixed toes. Authentic tequila, but they're allowed to have up to 49% filler, like, you know, cane sugar for fermentables. And they don't have to be any higher than 51% Blue Weber Agave. But I just put them in, in order by that when they were introduced in chronological order, 1959, 1960, 1966. 1974. I don't know when the Black Barrel was introduced. I wasn't able to find out, but I did um, find out that Hornitos was started. The line was started in 1950. So um, <clears throat> the standard Salsa tequilas, those are also mixed toes. And uh, the Hornitos line is The, what that was. the Hornitos line is the 100% agave. So you get the silver Hornitos 100% agave, the gold, the black barrel, and then um, there's a liqueur one with lime. You know, there's a whole lot of products. If you look on their website, they have ready to drink, bottle cocktails, uh, an array. An array. So they give a pretty detailed description of why the little ovens are important. I was hoping the fridge wouldn't cut on, but why the little ovens are important. And they say he revolutionized tequila production by using those little ovens. Dark tequila. We call this burnish gold. Yeah, uh, a little. I guess it's mostly uniform alcohol legs now that they're starting to drip. Let's go with the nose. It's going to take me a while to watch all the video reviews for this. Well, I want to take that back. It's going to take a little while. It's not as, there's not as many as I thought. Now, for Hornitos, all the types, yeah, like the silver and the gold, yeah, it'll take a long time. But for this one, it was something like about 
15. And the oldest one was like seven years ago, so maybe that's when this came out. Yeah, heavily charred oak. Like, the wood's been burnt. Rich distilled vegetative matter. Uh, smells like totally different than any of these four. Yeah, and I like all, I like these four. I mean, they're, you know, inexpensive, but they got a good flavor. This is a different experience. Let's go to taste. Cheers. So you get that agave juice. <laughs> you know what I mean? The, to me, it tastes like bell, like smoked bell pepper. Um, then you get the char, and they're talking about toasted barrels. It's making me think of like toast, like um, the crust on, like if you took white Wonder Bread, let's say, and you toasted it, and you, you took the, the, the crust and ate it. It's kind of like that. It's a full body, like say, let's say, high medium for a liquor. Um, it's overall dry though. It's drier than these four, which is sweeter because maybe because of the sugar, if they're using sugar. Um, just got the toasted and roasted oak, toasted and charred oak, the agave. And the um, the the toast, bread toast. Um, finish is kind of quick, so let's say a rather quick finish. I have to think about it a little more when I do the written reviews, because as soon as I finish recording video reviews, then I sit down and do the written reviews on Distiller.com, on Google, Total Wine, and more. I think Total Wine had this around the same like 90, 94, something like that pretty high. But they're probably dealing more with the casual drinker. Uh, is maybe not so much because if you read the reviews you get that impression not the deep speculative, you know, 32nd degree master taster. Um, and that's why maybe they're going 79 on distiller. This is running well, when I bought it, it was a year or two ago, it was running $26 a bottle. But Walmart had it for $13, half price. I don't know why, but I saw a distributor guy and he's like, yeah, they cut that. I said, they don't make this anymore? Oh, no, he said, I mean, Walmart cut it, not the whole thing, still make it, the company. He said, and when they cut something, they just slash the prices, basically give it away. I said, no, I took advantage of it. He said, I would have too. He said, I was, I didn't see any bottles when I was going to buy one. He knew about it. But um, I said, I was right there at the right time. They had about three bottles on the shelf, and I bought it. Next time I went back to Walmart, which could have been a day later, it was gone. Just like when they had the Sombra Mezcal. $15? <laughs> Hope you don't think that lasted. Okay. Well, this is mighty fine. I love the char note. Some people might think it tasted like a little bit of cigar ash, <laughs> and maybe it does. But um, I think I'm going to side with Google over uh, Distiller, and I'm going to go 94 out of 100, just like they are. This is fabulous. Um, I would highly recommend it. Unfortunately, I guess you're not going to find it for $13, but... Uh, I'm gonna go with what's out there. So, Lazy Le Bon Come Relate, a 9.4 out of 10, a wonderful product. Thank you, Salsa, for starting the Hornitos line in 1950. And now, one day, I guess I'll have to try the silver and the gold and the other ones that they got. You know, these other ones that I'm sure they'll introduce. And I think there's three other standard ones besides this. I'm not talking about the flavor, you know, the liqueurs, which is so popular these days. And I'm going to end this review by saying you go to Jalisco, Mexico, and tour the Salsa Distillery.